Stingray, then going into guitars, then going into axe, and the versatility of Stingray is something that I'm so excited for, but only time will tell, and here we go, and wow, for any OG Stingray fans yeah. out there, whoo the Black Knight is back. And, and we're getting like the vintage Snowy pick too, mm -hmm. coming in with the Zol. So I feel like this set is really a blast from the past, but we don't really have too much history between these two players. It's been like one set between them. Wow. And it went in Snowy's favor and is pretty confident coming out with a 3-1 here. So Stingray is fighting an uphill battle. It's not a battle he's had to fight very often, but the one time they did meet, it was really Whoa. tough and he's starting it off great. Yeah, man, I'll tell you what, you know, Stingray is looking very confident right now. And one thing that I'm loving is the stage control. Not over committing, not trying to do too much too early, but getting that damage in there, going for the true combos, beautiful side light delight into the recovery to confirm stock number one but stingray does not seem to have any nerves right now and seems to be very comfortable in their zone now he did have a little bit of a break of course because we also on this stream had a break so he's going to be waiting on that couldn't go right into it based off the mm -hmm. momentum of his previous set same goes for snowy though if we look at the previous set for Stingray right before this. It was that experience set came off with 3-0. Snowy, also a confident finish, 3-1 over Anonymous Alex. So both of them have momentum going into this set. Yeah, absolutely. And okay, oh, okay, this one nice. I was, yeah, that's what I was waiting for. I was that like, was all right, nice. when's Snowy gonna start heating up with the Axe here? Obviously, we've seen the Axe so much as of lately on the Rayman, but the Zol pick is just something that if you are able to hit a lot of those light attacks, you're gonna build up damage so fast and confirm those KOs by using, obviously, one of the strongest legends in the game. Big Sarah comes out, Dude, not how enough is he, to confirm the KO. How is he not taking it? Oh, okay. that one's gonna be All okay. Right. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm talking about how you know this legend has so much damage, but uh, does not confirm the KO on the edge. What the heck's going on? Honestly, if I was Sting right there, I would do anything to not get hit by that cannon on my head because there's nothing more like disrespectful and like cartoonish than oh, getting yeah. bonked on oh, the head yeah. with specifically a cannon. Oh, it yeah. just like it just hurts. It, go, it comes down so fast too, like you're just instantly deleted. Off it just of the sounds zone. so silly, man. Sting right, he wants a weapon so bad. Snow Snowy, all the weapons are going to Snowy right now. This one coming in towards Stingray, he grabs it pretty quickly. Snowy wasn't really able to put too much damage out. In the meantime, he did hit a nice dare, but he's pretty far behind. And the way Stingray was opening this game up, yeah. I almost expect that to continue. Yeah, I feel like, you know, Snowy might have had a little bit of nerves. It was definitely trying to find a download initially in this matchup. We're definitely noticing Snowy start to really slow down and start to make the most of their opportunities each and every single time here. So now that we're looking at it, right, like Stingray basically got a full stock lead, but now Snowy's about three light attacks away from evening this one out. Now we've been in this game for a little bit of time now. It's over two and a half minutes, about two minutes, 40 seconds into this game. Neither player has lost their second stock. I don't even think they're necessarily too close to losing that stock unless yeah. like something oh, goofy happens. Wait. This might do it. And yes, it does. Hey, it was, was the double D-Light. <laughs> he needed that extra bit of damage from the D-Light. Also needed to be carried a little bit closer to the blast zone, which that double mm -hmm. D-Light will help you out with. Yeah, and what I want to see Snowy do a little bit more is I want to see more weapon throws. I think we've only seen one weapon throw from Snowy, which that's like something that Snowy's pretty much grandfathered in the game is utilizing a weapon throw into a unique aspect of his kit. So I want to see Snowy start to really rely. Okay, well, there's <laughs> weapon throws right there, but Stingray's looking for it. And right now, Snowy has to be so smart in confirming this KO to even it out on this last stock. One thing that I'm really worried about, he does find the D-Light into the uh, neutral air there to get the KO off the top with that true combo. One thing I'm worried about is Snowy throwing his weapon away. We've seen it in the past. That is, of course, mm -hmm. something very central to the way he plays this game. His play style throws pretty much more than almost anyone else in the game. Sometimes that's great. It just interrupts the momentum of your opponent. It makes them like rethink their plan. Maybe you have to re-examine the flow chart of what they want to do, yeah. but it also can disarm yourself. And I feel like we're not seeing too much control from really either player. Stingray had it at the beginning, but you see they're basically yeah, even yeah, now. Yeah. Four minutes into this game, nobody seems really in control, and I worry about Snowy disarming himself Ooh. too often, especially as we get closer to the yeah. end of this game. Yeah, no, you're so right right now. Oh, wait, hold on. Big edge guard right here, though. Snowy going for the ground pound. Stingray with a wonderful recovery right there. They are literally neck and neck here in game number one. And you know, a lot of people might be thinking that, oh, wait for oh, it. Oh, he almost. I got thought, I thought the dodge it. I down it. right through it. Snowy was able to get through all of those active oh, frames. D-Light into the neutral air. Snowy gets the KO off the top. And I'm glad, as a cannon player, we've now seen him KO with that twice in just one game. I remember sitting at countless lands next to Sandstorm <laughs> and hearing him look at other people playing cannon, and it's time to KO, and he'll just sit there and say, D-Light him. 
Delight him. <laughs> Delight Nair him, please. So I'm glad to see Snowy using that really well, especially when we're used to seeing the Rayman from him. This Zul's looking good. Yeah, and I feel like a lot of people haven't got to see Snowy's cannon that much as of lately. And so seeing Snowy pick up at such a fast professional level already with this weapon has to give you a lot of confidence in this pick if you are a Snowy fan. Now, vice versa here for Stingray. You know, Stingray dominated stock one. Stingray held a strong lead in stock two, but coming stock three, I feel like Snowy finally got the full download on what that Stingray was able to do. And because of that, it oh, makes me a little man. nervous, but apparently not nervous enough here, Sparky, because Stingray's bouncing right back. Maybe Snowy's first stock is just like not, not good. He just hasn't like woken <laughs> up yet in the game until he gets to that second yeah. stock. Because I don't know if we got time to put it up on screen. I don't oh, think we really oh. did. Yo, there's the oh. D-Light Sam for the KO. Now, Snowy's a little bit more behind this time than he was previously. So last game, he spent about 50, maybe 60% of the game on that second stock. Mm -hmm. He's going to have to do that really well here. And the damage is already being added up by Stingray very quickly. It oh, continues. Nice. Two more nice. hits to the one of Snowy's. Nice. Look at it, and I think this is the difference. Oh, Look how dude. much more confidence Stingray has right now. Stingray's not trying to kind of wiggle around what's happening here. Stingray's going all in on these attacks, and it's paying off relentlessly. I think Stingray's only been hit by one light attack by Snowy so far on the stock, and Stingray's about to have a two-stock lead. He's just playing the nasty spacing game right now, especially with mm -hmm. those neutral lights and then the D-lights. You're a little bit further away in light. You get in a little bit closer, D-light as yeah. the defensive maneuver. He's throwing a couple nares out, but it's been a lot of ground game that he's added up <laughs> So much damage with the end light and the D light throws his weapon away over to the spear. We know he's going to be looking for the D light. Sarah, he's found it so well. Look at how far away he is from Snowy. Stingray is not in danger whatsoever. Yep. Uh, definitely not a being KO because he's still in the yellow. Nice. Finds the DC, nice. gets the KO. Two stock lead on a Stingray. And Stingray, that just shows the mental strength that Stingray has right now because Snowy was trying to bait Stingray to go off stage so much on that stock to try to find a way to kind of get back in this one. But Stingray is playing so calm. Calm, so cool, so collect, and I think we're definitely going to be going to a 1 1 here. Now, earlier today, Snowy did tweet out, like, why are people putting me in their predictions? I'm going to go 0 2. He has <laughs> done a little bit better than that, at least getting this far <laughs> in the tournament, but uh, I, his winner's bracket life, it may fall here if he's not able Ooh. to turn this one around. If Stingray takes this, it'll nice. be a 1 nice. 1 tie, but he's going to have to fight through so many stocks to then get the lead back. Snowy's so far behind in the yellow final stock. Stingray spawning in, no trouble getting a weapon this time. Yeah, and this is where I really want to see Stingray keep their foot on the gas right here. But oh my goodness, Snowy starting to spice things up, really starting to go crazy again on this final stock. I don't know what it is. Snowy's just got the clutch gene. It turns on and it's like, all right, it's time to turn up. And the damage output is building up so fast. Stingray has to be so careful here. Remember, this is PR number one with Snowy. Snowy can take over a match instantaneously if you leave a window open for them. Now, I know Snowy is kind of hoping for a little bit of that vintage cannon coming out here. Oh, beautiful D-Light nice. Dude, Stingray wow. is picking those up so wow. well. And they're moving, like, straight on into the next one. Look at that. 628 damage. He only took... 305. Yeah. So he was like, he was just avoiding so many attacks. His positioning was stellar. And, you know, it, that kind of gets me a little bit worried, though, right? Because that didn't look like a match that Stingray had double the damage. You know what I'm saying? Like I that, agree. It looked like maybe like a stock lead towards the end there. But Stingray has to start finishing off these KOs so much earlier and not allowing Snowy to kind of crawl out of this hole that Snowy gets put in initially in game number one. But remember, it is a best of five, so no matter what happens after this match, well, we will be going into game number four. But obviously, winning the pivotal game three gives you such a huge advantage. Now, I think you're exactly right putting out uh, how much damage that Stingray had to do before he could secure that game. Mm -hmm. Like, of course, it did give him the W against Snowy there, but if you're having to do 628 damage every game, that means yeah. he always has to play this well. He yeah. always has to avoid that much damage. If you're doing 207 plus damage on average per stock, it's a little bit tough. He's picking up the Delight Sayers when he needs them, but Clean. the point oh. to get there, it does take a little bit longer than you would want yeah. to be desired in terms of efficiency. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And okay, oh my goodness, three weapon throws back to back. I think that was three weapon throws a hit, but Stingray doesn't nice care. Punish. Stingray goes off the edge looking for the recovery. Oh, oh, misses a grab no. out. No way. Oh, that's, that's tough. tough. That is so man. tough right now. Snowy 
wanted that so bad. That would have given him the lead yeah. here. Something that he could nice. not find nice. last game. And now yet again, Stingray is going to take this one. But we are way closer than we were the previous game. This is getting a little bit closer yeah. to game one territory that Snowy did end up taking. Oh, yeah, you're right, because Stingray had the advantage in game number one, right? Yes, yes. So, oh, wait, no, 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 no. <gasps> Snowy didn't touch. Yo! Oh, wait, wait. Aww. Okay, got him, you got him, you got him. That's still, that is such an early stop. I don't even, I don't even think Snowy had any damage. I think that was a completely clean stock right there. Snowy tried to overextend to confirm that KO, which is such a tough thing to see because Stingray was dark red. So, like, you didn't have to commit to yep, that, you know? exactly Just like right. you were saying, right? It's not worth. Take your time, hit the D-Light, hit the Nair. Go it's for the true worth, KO man. confirm. That's, that's tough. You wanted to go for the big play. You saw he hit that neutral air, got the stage spike straight down after bouncing off the stage. Got the chase dodge on hit, did what he could, but he was too far under the stage, couldn't get back over to the wall. Now Stingray's adding that damage up. It's the classic <laughs> that we saw from him earlier on. His neutral is just so strong with the lance in his hand. Dude. His ground game is impeccable. And it's, I think the really good thing about Stingray now is, too, is, like, I have no idea idea i'm sitting here watching this commentating as best as i humanly possibly can right now and i have no idea what to expect from stingray at all in any of these weapon combos and that is something that is leading to this massive lead now for stingray here and snowy if you're a snowy fan right now you might you might need to kind of see if snowy's gonna maybe switch up off the zole or find some way to come back in this set because right now stingray is dominating now, if he really wants to stick with the Zul, I think he should at least swap over to the Amethyst skin. Oh, that yeah. was the skin oh, yeah. that Snowy was using on this character more than pretty much anybody else. Stingray is going to clean that one up. A nice little two stock there. Only needed 436 damage. He had wow. to do 200 less damage to get the exact same number of stocks. That's, That's crazy. a fantastic return on investment for Huge. Stingray. Huge. And speaking of everything else that we've looked into so far, just looking at those replays right there brought to you by Steel Series. This is what made the difference right here is that Stingray was just doing different things every time. The mix-ups that we saw were just things that were not able to be predicted by Snowy. And a lot of those weapon throws, which what you talked about, Sparky, is, okay, yeah, if they hit, wow, it's amazing that the mix-ups are awesome. But if they don't hit, now you're unarmed. And being unarmed against Lance and Spear is terrible. If you've ever had to deal with it in Brawler, it's one of the most frustrating things in the world. Look at that graph. That little teeny tiny wedge right in the middle. That is that second stock of Snowy. It didn't take wow. much damage, and it sure as heck didn't take much time for that stock to be immediately taken away from Snowy. That was the killer right there. Yeah, that's not. That's like that's like six seconds. Yeah, like that is really really fast. It ain't so, that long. Um, <laughs> so here we go. Uh, game number four, best of five on winner side, two one currently in the lead for Stingray, and now we're going into. Small Enigma. So obviously Snowy had the last map out here. Sparky, why do you think Snowy wanted to come? He obviously wanted to stay on Zolt, right? But why kind of now rotate into Small Enigma? Well, if you're an Axe player here, that gives you those soft platforms to extend your strings to. It also may give him a little bit of uh, territory to run away to, but also like Stingray as a Lance player can use those really well. You can cover a lot of those soft platforms with the neutral air. We've already seen Stingray do that really well on the Lance so far. Those platforms are also going to give him extension off of his spear as well. Well, Snowy is just like forced onto those soft platforms and we've seen countless games of Stingray where he has to play the slow game. Yep. He has to chase his opponent. He has to be very careful. So I think if Snowy is looking to play the runaway game, I think Stingray is going to do just fine with that. And he's yeah. already doing that yeah. so well. Yep. And dude, I mean, I love that Stingray pulled out this pick. I don't think any of us predicted that Stingray was going to be pulling out, you know, the Orion or the, you know, Black Knight crossover here, but it's working out so well for Stingray right now. And, you know, I love it. And I'm going to be honest, like this is PR number one. The performance that we're seeing from Stingray right now gives me enough confidence to believe that, you know, they can make a very strong run in this tournament. It is certainly possible to continue on past this set and keep going on the winner's side of the bracket. Stingray, see, look, he's playing the slow game. Mm -hmm. Snowy wants to stick on those platforms. Stingray yep. does not care. Yep. Yep. He's already a full stock up. Let's say we did this for another six and a half minutes. I really hope that doesn't happen, Rain. <laughs> but if it does, Stingray literally wins the game because he is a stock ahead. Yep. He's just sitting on that center stage. Does not matter. Snowy has to push on into him.
Yep, and Stingray, and notice how Stingray is going always right back to the middle. Yep. Because the moment that Snowy comes down from that platform to try to engage, all it takes is then Stingray to hit one read and then set up all of these confirmed KO options. Like there, right there. Whip Force punish. in the whip right Beautiful. there. Beautiful. Exactly. And he keeps it wow. going. He finds like four oh hits on that. Has a two-stock oh lead on Snowy. Goodness. Stingray has the complete and utter instruction manual to everything that Snowy does. He knows what he's made of. He knows oh. how to take those apart. He knows how to completely dismantle everything that Snowy has. That's not even going to KO yet. Goes immediately to the weapon, grabs it. Damage wow. comes out. Three piece, oh, four piece, oh, five piece, weapon oh, toss, six piece. Oh my goodness, clip it. Clip it, moments not GG. Oh my goodness, last brawl. Holla. I think that one, if it does KO, it'd be on there, but I'm just saying that was incredible. Snowy does still get the stock. What was that? That was like a that was a seven piece combo, including unarmed and a weapon throw. They don't even sell wow. meals at Raising Canes with that many chicken fingers in it. Oh. You have to ask for oh. those extra and pay for it. He comes out with the taunt, well earned. That's a JV three. That means it's a two stock with literally zero damage on that stock. Wow! And just coming back and look at the replays here. Just the positioning of Stingray every single time, forcing Snowy into a position where the whiffs kept coming out and the punishes came pouring in. And ultimately, Stingray is playing with so much confidence and it is showing in these fantastic replays. Wow. Stingray, I'm going to be honest. I have chose you to come in first for the last three tournaments. Okay? I didn't choose you to come in first this time. All right, Stingray. <laughs>